Hey there YouTube, this is the Blackbeard Carvings channel. I'm downstairs in my shop and I just finished up this little piece right here. Eventually I'm going to cut the background out and I call these standalone pieces when I do that. And this is what a standalone piece looks like. Um, this is a mangrove jack and this will have a separate background of mangrove roots and this one will chase the lure. So keep an eye out for this one in the future. So this piece right here is one of maybe 50. And if you can imagine what a bait ball looks like, that's sort of the concept of this. It's going to be a very tight group of bluegill, and it's going to be on the wall, sort of like in a dome shape. So it's going to be a very spectacular piece when done. Aside from standalone pieces, I got going on, this is a black crappie, and this one is, the background is, you can see is chipped. It's nicely textured. And this one is on pine. I have a white crappie here. This is on basswood, and this one is framed. I have the frame already made for this one. Um, I've got to stain. I'm going to stain the two crappies together. And then this one is going to be a brown trout, and the brown trout is this one right here. So that's what this one is going to transform into when I'm done. It's going to be chasing a little fly over here. And then I have... This piece right here, um, this I'm going to call this the iron shell. Um, the reason I call it the iron shell is because of this piece. So this piece and this piece will go together. Sort of like that. Um, how I got the coloration of this is a combination of acetic acid and uh, iron oxide, which was essentially just steel, wool, and vinegar. Let the steel wool dissolve in the vinegar. And he comes up with this solution, and the solution turns this type of wood, and most woods uh, like this, uh, oak, butternut, um, ash wood, it turns it completely black. So this piece is going to be a really nice piece. And this one here is going to be a three-dimensional bluegill, and this piece is the first of its kind. So when I get a piece like this to this stage... It's all carved out, uh, scales and everything are done. How I carve is on the table. So I'm going to make a jig for this thing. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take the tracing paper that I used to make this, flip that over, put it on here, and then carve this side down. And I should come up with a very outstanding looking three-dimensional bluegill. And then there's this project I got going on. This is sort of a side piece. Uh, this is going to be what's called the Shepherd's Axe. Um, if you Google shepherd's axe, you can get the idea. Uh, there's a lot of grinding I got to do to this thing to shape this thing. So it loses some weight. Uh, the handle is traditionally longer. So it's sort of a walking stick axe head. Uh, that's what I got going on here at Blackbeard Carvings. I'm always busy. I'm always doing something. And if you can see, uh, um, my Facebook page, uh, I do picture updates, uh, some videos, but the YouTube channel here, I'm going to do a lot of, uh, uh, editing i'm gonna do a lot of uh, videos so keep an eye out uh, give it a like and please subscribe